We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Miami Dolphins. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. At CD, the Dolphins, they've got some high hopes for 2023. They feel like they've got the pieces to make a run. They need a little bit of health, but they think they can be right there in the AFC East. And they'll want every game to be a track meet because speed is their calling card. If they're able to sprint out there ahead of people, make them chase, they'll be tough to reel in. Meanwhile, for the Giants, what a turnaround last season in year one of the Brian Dable era, Charles. Yes, they finished behind the Eagles and Cowboys, but they did win nine games and one more for good measure at Minnesota in the wild card round. Talk about establishing a new base, a new culture, and getting into the playoffs while doing it. So tough to beat this Giants team in the fourth quarter. They expect that to continue. And the Giants ready to go now on offense. And under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Playing for his Giants career, Jones' best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer. He was just the guy his team needed him to be. Someone who could threaten the defense throwing it, and especially as a runner. Jones wants to throw to start things out here. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities. And if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Here's second and ten. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. Oh, no. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and 10 here. And yeah, they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Throwing Jones. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That when he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Now Jones. Oh, he didn't it is up. incomplete. start to this game when they practiced all week but it failed on that third down play that brings up fourth down and the pop will have to punt it away on fourth down Jamie Gillen on the punt for the Giants Braxton Berrios deep for Miami taking it about the 16 so a good punt but a solid 12 yard return and it'll be Dolphin football. Here is Tua Tungavailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense. Every time he leads his team out, there's no questioning. He's put the work in to earn his place in the NFL. There's no shortage of stories we've heard throughout his career about the effort he puts in to be in this spot. And that motivates everybody on his team. Tua and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. 
Now their 31-year-old running back, Raheem Mostert. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. All right, I've got to be careful here. All right, he's on the plus side of 30. There may be a little gray in the beard, but that's not slowing down his speed as far as he's concerned. What are you saying? I'm on the plus side of 30. Well, if you're on the plus side of 30, you all know what I'm on the plus <laughs> side of. All I know is that run right there let us know there's still some life in those legs. Absolutely. Still got a lot of life left in those legs. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Going to the air. Tugging by Loa. This one complete to Jalen Water. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Another good game. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar? Or do you have a counter to it? To kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? A good pick up there, 21 yards. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. Here we go now on first and goal. Mostert. Going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. One more oh, time with Mostert. And forget it. about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. And you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. comes too late and this is going to be a delay delay of game Unbelievable. that flag accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit still third down wow How crucial will those five yards be? We'll see as they come up again here, third and goal. Now Tua. Start for them, really. You force the punt and then you go down and score. 
And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym, preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7 nothing game. To the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. On the return, here's Gary Brightwell. Oh shit, it's a well. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. On first and ten, Jones. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Well, we keep stats on everything, don't we? This is one that you don't want to have. That's his second drop right here in the first quarter. Yeah, I was going to say, only in the first quarter. Certainly a shift that he wants to write quickly. Now a second and ten. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. A short game here, maybe a yard to the 29. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. Come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Jones. Oh. That's taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. Now Jones, oh, and his throw is going to be incomplete. So much of his game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, yes. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up four. Third and long, he knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield in coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and that will come the offense as they take over. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Throwing now is Tungamailoa. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. 
And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And most are going to pick up a Dolphins first down as they'll get this down to the 32. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Setting the throw on first down is Tua. Oh, and his throw here is incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. Back to the air on second down, Tonga Bailoa. Now swing this out wide, here's O'Chain. Five yards, now it's third and five. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Here's Tua. Oh. He's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. I certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The New York set to take the field. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. Got a man. It's Darren Waller. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Call that a very strong gain of 24. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0 our score. Jones throwing on first down. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. Get it in. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Throwing again on second down. Jones. There goes a deep ball in zone. Oh, the incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They'll look to throw again. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's 
got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 25-yard line. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Yes. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Um. Okay, here we the go. full start backs him up five. First and 15. Back to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, no! And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Back to throw. Jones. Get in. And he's going to go down. Sack back at the 13-yard line. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. Another try after the first down sack. Jones. Oh! Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. He seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Jones. Oh, to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Based on my map, they've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. Gano's kick is good, and they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They've struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. Speedster Raheem Mostert and the rest of this offense out to start the drive. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because... Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. this game just looking down at the sideline now their defense is like man can you have strung that out just a few plays give us a break back out there hey man get that water break and get on out there and play now after the touchdown ready to kick it away is sanders Oh, no. Down the numbers. There he goes. And finally stopped, but what a return all the way down to the 40. In just about every special teams meeting, there's a discussion with the punter about his importance. Why? He can flip the field for your team defensively, move it deep into their own territory, or if you're backed up on offense, 
and he can hit a big punt and change field position and help his oh, defense. No. In this case, though, the field position got flipped by the return team. Bad. You can do it so many different ways on special teams. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Gano's kick is good. And a second field goal here gets him back within 11 now. It's 17-6. to six. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day, and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. The Dolphins got some strong play out of their quarterback number one, Tua Tunga Vailoa. He fired his guys into the lead with two first half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well oiled machine in the first half of play. Final preparations being made for the second half, both in terms of game plan and also hydration because the humidity is really going to catch up to these guys, no doubt. And for the call of the second half, we go back to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? It's usually not one of oh, yeah. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Now a give to Mostert, running right. And yeah, he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes, and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. Getting this out to the flat, Moster. And shutting the tackle, and now some room. And they rally quickly defensively after the ground. And he gets it to the 42. A good pick up there at 22. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Bobby Okereke making that tackle. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Play action, now it's Tua. What a oh, the middle of the 
and there's a diving catch. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 22-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I'd have to say that whenever you see a good post route run, they do not like to let it end without the catch. Hence, that great diving play. Yeah, lay it up there, let him go get it, and he got it. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. This would complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. On second down, Mostert. And here he'll get it down to the seven. 64 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Here's Mostert. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots and going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down. After a couple of seasons of battling injuries, the former number two overall pick returned to Pro Bowl form with over 1,300 yards and 10 touchdowns. Oh, Just as a no. played 16 games and handled over 350 touches, essentially carrying the Giants' offense. Another first down, this time on a gain of 19. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Oh, That's caught by Waller out left side. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break it all off. But a nice game there for a first down. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. 
So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. That time, Bradley Chubb shooting in there for the sack. Even the most elusive quarterbacks yeah. have those tough days where they can't avoid sacks, and this is one of them. Third time he's gone down, he might develop some happy feet now, want to escape the pocket and try and gain more yardage with his legs. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen them do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down the game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. 84 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback hey no time to be a hero we're not going to throw it here just eat up that clock and if you have the ball they can't score and he'll take this ahead for about four second down coming up now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a dolphin shaken up on the play we'll get an update when we come back to hard rock stadium Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second down at six. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And he's across midfield from 149 to the other 49. A gain of just two. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Out of the gun on third down, here's Tua. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. On first and ten, it's Mostert. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys, they're just saying, let's just keep running it out, and we've got them now. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner, 100 yards or more in a game. This will wind up a loss on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. 
And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time with the decision to go for it. Proves to be a good one. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and ten inside the 30. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He's got a man. It's his fullback. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up second down. Good sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he's able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? Second down and three. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. 108 yards rushing now for Mostert as he picks up a first down. I've got an idea. Let's get racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the okay. Dolphins are able to add on to that lead. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there. And they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline. And I think this one might just be over. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And they open the lead up now to 25. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And this taken in at the goal line. Some strong running at the 20. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Holding receiving They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed and practice. And that often runs you into a penalty. Now Jones. And this will be caught. It's Isaiah Hodgins. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Throwing Jones. And that one complete to Hodgins. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Ooh. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. On second and 10, Jones throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same. And the big loss here as he's taken down. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. 
Desperation time now. Here's Jones. Oh, that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. It all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. 